So databases generally fall into two categories, OMTP, online transaction processing, databases like Postgres and MySQL. These are optimized for handling transactions involving small updates or queries on a few rows, and they are ideal for fast, frequent operation and are often referred as the operational databases, the backbone of your e-commerce, your banking system, or whatever application you have. Time of a query is typically between 1 to 10 milliseconds. The second category is OLAP, Online Analytical Processing. These are databases like BigQuery and Snowflake that are built for analytical queries. They are great at processing large datasets, computing metrics across many columns, and supporting complex analysis. And query time can go here from 100 milliseconds to several minutes. Most traditional databases, whether OLTP or OLAP, use a client-server architecture, and in this setup, the database run as a separate process and applications, the clients, connect to it typically through SQL queries to the server where the data is stored and computation take place. In contrast, in-process database run directly within the application process itself. A well-known example is SQLite, an OLTP in-process database. You simply include it as a library in your app and it handles transaction and queries without requiring a server. So DuckDB, however, is an in-process OLAP database. While SQLite is a well-known in-process OLTP database, DuckDB introduced something new, an in-process OLAP database. Optimized for analytical workloads, it's really kind of a new database. And while it shared the simplicity and portability of SQLite, its goals and use case are different. DuckDB is designed specifically for analytics and can run on virtually any platform. 